All right, a good day to all. Uh, Sam with you here on Friday, March 16th, midday. As it's Friday, it's time for a look at Bitcoin. So as I often like to do and encourage, uh, encourage you to do as well, you know, it's always a good idea to just strip your chart bare and just come back to it, you know, particularly when we have so many mixed signals, I, I think, within, within Bitcoin. And we're trying to get a handle on, you know, where the next move is likely to head. What can we see? What, what can we determine objectively? What, what can we be, we be absolute about where we're not trying to guess? Well, if we look here now, this is a three-hour chart on Bitstamp where I've been doing most of the analysis. It happens to be where I'm trading it as well. So here it is on Bitstamp. So what can we say for certain? Well, we, we can be absolutely definitive about the fact that we're in a downtrend, clearly, right? So we've got a series of lower lows, lower lows, and a series of lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. So this becomes the question mark down here. Are, are we... You know, do we have the potential now for this to be a higher low, right? Do we, do we have that possibility to suggest that, that this is our hard low to end the correction and now we're starting up? Well, of course, the first thing we do is we'd, we'd want to pull from the low to the high here. And you can see we've broken the 65. So does that mean we can't go up right? just because algos will have flipped? No, it does not mean that. All right, so we can, well, <clears throat> what it means is that we're going to have to fight through some resistance on the way back up if we're going, we're, you know, and again, I'm not suggesting that is the low, but if it were to be the low, we've got to get through the 50 and the 618 here. That's going to be substantial resistance because we now know algos will be written to be sellers there. Th those that were buying have now flipped. They'll be selling at the, at the 50 and the 618. So what, what else can we look at here? Well, we know we've been dealing with this resistance here. So from this, this pivot here to here, okay, we, it, everybody's seen this, right? It's the double top into the 50. Well, there's a few other things just to, just to review here. So I've shown this many times, but this was very technical up here. So if I just come here, go work from the high to our first low, you can see despite we went through here, Right here was the to the tick down comes it gets sloppy up here. But then you can see these two perfectly technical pivots. So my assumption, recognizing as I will often remind you, recognizing my bullish bias, I'm still working on the assumption that those are two important pivots. Right, they're certainly algo pivots, and we can see the reaction both times as algos hit them. So if if this is our good pivot here, can we build a case? for this to play as potentially, you know, as, as I, I have it currently counted as a one, two. Well, you know, if we put our Elliott hats on, we can certainly see the potential here for this to be a one, two. Now, granted, we've gone through the 65. That would be, you know, that's a bearish signal, but we know that a wave two can go as deep as the 786. So we're, we, we haven't disqualified the possibility. We are still within this this range here so we still have an internal correction but of course we're fighting we're fighting the the correction coming the other way so we've got a bit of a a bit of a fib fight but you have to defer to the longer term trend longer term trend is down this is the dominant algo test here their target is down here what's that 3200 so we can't you know as much as we want to be believers in the where bitcoin's going to be you know middle of the summer, end of the year, you know, we, we, we've got, we can't ignore this. We can't ignore this possibility. It's certainly a perfectly valid assumption to make that from swing low, swing high, there's the 50, there's the target. How many times have we seen that hit? Now, the other more bearish scenario, which I had some members proposing to me today, is that we have this count here. So we've just got a one, two, three. Likely that would be, we'd have a double bond here. So we'd be pushing down for the fifth here. Well, that's certainly the, the extremely bearish count. All right, it's certainly, it's certainly valid from an Elliott perspective. There's, we, we do get the overlap here. So we'd be looking for a diagonal. Now, 
it's it's there. We 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 could play the diagonal. We could we could have this. We could have an A B C into that low. So that gives us our third, and we can get an A B C into our fourth here. We've certainly got the three here. The first one's a little tougher, but if I dig in, I'm I'm sure it's there. So could that be the case? Well, that you know, a couple of things you might do and say, well, what if that is right? Well, we could do some measuring since we're looking at a diagonal. I'm going to take the this top of it, the top of the or the start of it. So I'll call it zero through three to that low. I'd come up to my fourth here, and this is kind of interesting. So take note of what we see here. So a common target here for a fifth relative to the the length of I'll call this zero, the start of the the five wave sequence, if that's what we're going to have. Zero through three projected from the four I means perfectly. Look at it, it's just absolutely perfect. It's just literally on top of it. So we, you know, we we can't we can't discount that. We we got to consider that. Uh, that's that's with a modifier on it. <clears throat> Let me go back to original. You know, yeah. I mean, I I don't think that's where we're going, but it's hard to ignore that. It's hard to ignore it. So what would what would help us determine now if that were the case? So let me. I'm gonna go. Well, let's go to an eight hour. Okay, let's think about what that would mean. If that were playing as an A wave, then we're looking at this. I mean, we, we, again, we can't, we can't ignore it. We got to consider it as, as, I would propose it as an alternate count, but we may have something like that. So if I go to the, let me go to a larger degree and we'll just evaluate this. Could, could this make sense? If we're coming down here for an A wave, well, that would, let me pull this off. All right, so we get this chart bare. We don't need this at this moment. So that the implication would be if I put the wave on that, that that's what we've got. All we're doing now is an A wave. So we've got reasonable targets down here. So then, of course, we would just pull from the high. Now I'm hypothetical, of course, right? So you might look at that and say, okay, that's going to put Bitcoin down at around 1500 You know, I mean, that's bear porn right there. I mean, it's, it's hard to argue with it. It's certainly, I mean, it certainly plays. There's, there's, there's nothing there that would invalidate anything. We, we, we'd, ex, we'd expect this to come down. If we're going to go down here, you know, the, now we're, we're, we're that, that would imply that we've just put in a one, two at the, at the minimum. So if we, if we dig in there, that, that's suggesting this is one, two, which I, this would surprise me. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five to get us down there. So if I get a count on that, let's change the color and let's go down. It's there, you know, it's move it over here. It's certainly possible. Puts us into a B uh, that would finish our A wave here, then likely a long push up, right? So you'd that would be a long push up. Now we're heading back to 1300. You know, bulls are delighted here, and then that you but you'd be setting up for the potential rollover. But the anticipation is how would we know? We'd be looking for three waves here, right? We'd be looking for something like that. So that is certainly something that we have to keep as a potential count. We just cannot ignore it. It's just it's right, right, right there now. So some ways that we might get clues as to, to whether or not we were heading there or not. Well, so first, we're, th this is a big tell here. So if if you know the, if that's a one two, this needs to get impulsive. And it, when we dig in on a smaller time frame, you'll see that that looks less likely unless we've just got a one two one two. You know, it, it is there. It is there, guys. We we got to deal with it. So that that should be somewhere that you're keeping as an alternate count. Should we start to really, you know, start start to collapse down here, where and we break this? So here's here's 6,500. We start breaking that. You know, this is targeting down into the below 3,000. Needs to be kept somewhere so that we're not surprised by it. If it starts going that direction, well, at least we have the roadmap, and there should be a good opportunity for bulls to trade into that B wave. But we've got to accept it as a possibility. Now let's let's dig in a little bit more closely here. So let me pull some of this off and see if there are any tells as to whether or not there's an alternate count here, having dealt with the the most extremely bearish count, 
we come back here and say, okay, well, wait a minute now. What, what's, the, what's the bullish alternative, right? So again, here's me with acknowledging my bullish bias. I get it. I understand. So, you know, he, I, th this does not look complete to me. So if we dig in here, so I'm going to go back down. Let me get, I'm going to go to a one hour and we'll dig in here and see what we can make, make sense of here. So if, if this is playing as a corrective wave, then the, the assumption would be that we've got this, this heading into an A wave here, into a B wave, and that somewhere down here there's a C wave. Let me take the wave off just to declutter the chart. Now, we acknowledge we've broken the 65. We know that, so I'm going to take this off. right? And then let's just dig into here and see if this, if this potentially could be setting up for the C wave. So all we can really do, right? so of course, we don't know. We're not going to, you don't know an Elliott wave until after the fact. Until, but you get, you get tells, tendencies, rules to help guide your decision-making process, and probabilities. That's all we get. So we can see where we, what we have here. If that's just a straight move down, given the, 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 the very shallow retracements, most likely alternative here, either it's a, an A wave or a one wave. That, that, that's straight down. So if we're looking for this to play as a C wave, well, we, we've got our A, we've got a three wave B. So now we got to look at this and say, well, how, you know, how could this play? If this, is, if this is a one wave, then we're looking at this. This, this is going to have to continue lower. I, I suppose we could, have a, we could have a diagonal. So we, we've already overlapped here. So potentially here now, we would have a diagonal ending this ending our C wave, All right? So if we look at it, we can see from, let me get my, from the B wave high to the potential one wave low. Well, that's, that's pretty telling right there. Let me, I'll take the wave off. So we can see algo tracks, right? This, there's the front run on the 50 right to the Vegas wave, All right? And we go, and then we get a little front run on the target potentially, potentially a third. So we're already looking now, we, we clearly we can see the one wave is longer. So we, because we've had the overlap here, so this, this potentially sets up, you know, th this, this could be heading lower here because you can see the subdivision here. So if we look now, we, we can't be definitive about whether or not that the four is in and whether or not we're going to have a diagonal just yet because we don't know where this finishes. So all we can do is start measuring. Well, we can see here, this is, this is likely algo activity here. They, they front run the 50, they front run the target. So with that off, let's dig in here, see what we can see. So this clearly gives us a little corrective action here. And then we get the straight rip down. So if I go down, I'm going to go to the 30 minute, see if we can make sense of this. Well, I can clearly see an ABC here. This is this is fairly easy to spot. So I've got I've got an ABC into my two. That's probably a larger degree than I need there. So let me drop that down. Let's go to submenuet. That'll work. Okay. So I've got potentially now setting up. I'm trying to complete a C wave here. So this now we go into dig into this. If this is going to play as an impulsive wave, well, we do get this little ABC. So that's one contender here that we'd have, this would be one, two, you know, it gets a little dicier here. This starts to look to me like we might have to do that. So let me, I'm going to change the color again, and then I'll take this up a degree. So let's go to minuet there. Okay. So potentially now you've got, you got one of two things. Either you've got one, given the very clear ABC, that's your two, and now this would be one, two of the third, or we've got a little truncated C wave there and we get an A, B, C, which I'm inclined to go with right now. So if we look at this, if this is our two, come here, if this is our two here and this is our three, well, what have we done? We, well, here's the 50. We seem to be stalling at the 50 and we, we, we know these are, these are here, right? This is likely, so you can see the resistance here. Now we've gotten through that. Now we have this, this will be next resistance right here. You see how it's splitting, splitting the golden zone. So we, we have a possible scenario here that this sets us up for one more leg down, right? So this would, there's the algo target right there. We're sitting at the 50. That would be no surprise to anyone. Well, think about it now. If that's one, two, and this is going to finish as three down here, 
All right, all we can do is measure it. That's all we can do to try and determine the odds of this continuing to move lower or are we seeking a bottom down here? Well, if that's one, two, okay, then I've got right here, I've got the, I got need to measure here. So I'm gonna take the length of one, project it from my proposed two. Well, what have we done here? Well, we've gone a little, sh we're a little shy of the, of the high probability target here, which is the 1618. But look where that lines up down here. So th this potentially is a candidate down here. Now, if I pull it back and say, well, maybe that's the two. Maybe that's the two, and this is just one, two of the third. Well, I'm a little closer, but I'm still a little shy of it. If that's the two, then we've got to pull back here, right? Do you see what I'm doing? So I'm, I'm looking at this going, potentially that's my two, and this is just one, two, three, four. But I don't like the, the symmetry there of this two relative to this four, so I'm, I'm, that is not my primary count. I'm sticking with this as my second, and then I got an A, B, C into that with a, with a truncated C into the second. I like this at the 50 a little bit better, the fact that we're stalling there. Now, can we get through? Well, you know, we'll, we, we will see. Now, the, 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 the wild card here, the thing that makes this, is gonna make this tricky is what if we do this? That's a wild card, right? That's, then, then we gotta reconsider the entire thing. If we're gonna break through the high probability zones and we're already, if we push the 618, we're kind of, getting fairly extreme to play this as a fourth. If that breaks through, we may have to reevaluate what we've got here. But right now, this is all set up to go down one more time. All the ingredients are there. So this would play, so look look at that though. If that completes down here, if we if this is one, two, one, if this is one, two, three, four, five, we, you know, we, we'd be coming down, so this, that puts us about 7,300. Okay, so let's let's consider that. That's potential potential play relative to this two to our three. So we got to measure that. See how that sets up as a third. If you know, we we can just look eyeball it and see now it's going to be shorter than one. So if we take the length of the one projected from the two. Okay, so here if we get here, we're in between six one. Here's a hundred percent. So for us to get a hundred percent relative to this one wave, we're going to have to get lower which means, okay, so how, how could that play? That means we'd have to have this moving down here, which means extension in the fifth. That's what we're gonna need to see. Rel if, if this is our four, right, it's big if right now, but if that's our four, then we've gotta have an extension in the fifth. So we can measure it and say, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so if I take the length of the third, and if that's my four, well, here's 100%. Uh, here's 100% the length of the third. Okay, so, you know, possible, possible. Here's 127, here's 100% here's down here. So we've got some, some candidates down here, if assuming we're gonna push down one more time, where we're trying to identify likely pivots to complete this as a third, if this is a one, two. Right, that's all we can do is just start measuring and look for probability zones. Because we, no one knows, we don't know, this, if it goes here, that's going to be a little tricky. And then, then, then we got to reevaluate everything. Right now, odds suggest we're down one more time to complete the third, then four, right? So we'd be going here, somewhere there's a four, and then one more push down to complete the fifth. That's, that's, what's, teed, ugh, come here, that's what's teed up right now, down for the fifth. So let's get that off. Now let's, let's pull out in time and see how that sets up. Okay, does that make sense? If this is an A, B, we'd be pushing down here, all the way down here to get this fifth. Well, the symmetry actually doesn't look bad. So this would be, so if I, if I put the wave on it, we look at that and say, okay, does it have the right look? Does it look like that might play? Now, I know I've got a bunch of stuff here. Let me pull this off here. We'll just look at that, right? Because that's, that's kind of what we're hypothesizing here. Now, let's go all the way further out. Let's go back out to my three hour. So where does that leave us? That would leave us essentially back down here threatening this low as a double bottom. So let me pull this off just so we can see it a little better. And this one. All right, so that's, so we'd be playing it this way. So this would be A, B down for the C. So let's, let's measure that. So if that were gonna be A, 
and we're going to project from the B high. Well, here's the 1618 where we would line up here with the third down here, you know, we might have to project differently. So that would, so for us to get all the way down here to the 2618, now we're looking at that extension in the fifth. That puts us down here. I guess I don't need the arrow anymore. It's a contender. So what's that? That's five grand, 5,000 for Bitcoin. It has the right look. Now let's, let's start adding some of the larger pivots. Okay, there's the first one, right? We know this one's here because we've run into it right here. There's that target, that's three grand. Now let's think about that. Does that, does that look likely? We'd have to have an extension. You'd have to have an extension here in the third, up for the four. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's potentially there. So what would that mean? If we dig in here, that means we'd be likely just putting in the one wave here. So this, if we're going to get down here, right, to this, to this level here, if we're going to get to that 2618, which would be an extreme for the third relative to this second. All right, I got to dial these in. If that's going to be the one, two, then likely what we're ha what, what's happening here is just the one wave. You see that, right? So we'd have to fit, so we'd likely be, ah, come on. Let me escape that. Let's get this off. So if that's gonna come down here and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, let me get that fifth up here, back down here, then that's likely just the one wave. So that would suggest that all, all we're doing now is putting in the one wave here. One, two, three, four, five. That gets us down there. Do you see that? So how are we gonna know? I, well, we aren't going to know until we see some reactions along the way. If we come back down here as it's setting up, and we don't know that it will, but if we come back down here one more time, break this low, we get a clean five wave. Is that, is that finishing up or is it just getting started? How are we going to know? Well, you're not going to know. You're not going to know until we see the reaction. Again, now I'm hypothetical. If, that, if we come down here, finishes five, what are we looking for? We're looking for the reaction on the second at the, anywhere from the 50 to the 618. Right, then we'd be measuring for the fourth, down to the fifth. I right, just see. So let's let's pull out again. It's I mean it's all pretty hard to argue with that as a very reasonable scenario to take that down. Now we're down here at three thousand. Hard to argue with it. So this has to be somewhere where you're keeping an alternate count. So if you're a bull, you got to keep that count somewhere so you're not surprised by it because we want to be looking for tells along the way to as a bull we don't want to see the, the 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 tells that would imply lower lower price action so it starts with are we going to complete a five wave sequence down here then what's the reaction how deep is the react if we get a, a move off of it how deep does the reaction go at some point we can disqualify it as a second Right? If we take out the zero here, if we take out the pivot here, we know we no longer are looking at, at that as a one, two. So that, that's really all we've got to work with here to invalidate this count is we, we need a completion of a, of a five-wave sequence here to even create the possibility of a pivot here ahead of this low. If we, if we don't get that, we get a three-wave move off of this low and we start to roll over, then we're, now we're right back to accommodating the lower price action, which suggests that that's just a one, two, and we head down for three, four, five. That's the ugly side of it. And it's really hard to argue against that given the current price action. So what's the alternative? All right, so let's, for bulls, let's, let's see, is, is there a case we can make? It's, it's slightly harder to make it, but let's get that down to a reasonable degree see if we can make a case for bulls. Okay, so if, if we're playing it as, for, as bulls, what we're looking for is for the, we're, I mean, our best case, really, if this is gonna come down here, boy, it's a, it's a tough case to make. So you'd be going from the length of the A up to the B, right? So here's a contender here. There's the 1618175 window. We see that right there. There's our one, that's a contender for our third, our third. If we're going down one more time, you know, we're trying to play this as, boy, it's, it's, it's really, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find the bear count, or pardon me, the bull count. Let's go down to the, um, 
to the one hour on this. If this comes down one more time, what does that give us? That means potentially we've just got, we, 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 we could have an A, B, C. That, I mean, we, we have that possibility. So it would look like this. We'd be playing here as an A, this as a B, and then we'd be going down here for a C. Right, as long as we get that five weight, that's the contender for the bullish count. So if we pull back out and go, okay, could that, could that make sense? Where would that put us? If we're coming back down here for the five to complete the C, where would that put us on the Elliott invalidation? So if that's my one wave, so we'd be playing this as a one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the bull count. And so that means seven, eight, six, we're looking for that to hold. You see how I could just kind of put that together here? There's the A, there's the B, there's the A, right? A, B, and then we're looking for five to come down here and complete it. So, I mean, you have the ingredients for a, for a flat here, given the B wave. So it's, it's, it's a contender, right? They're, bo they're both contenders, right? So we, we, just, we don't know. So all we can do is just keep measuring and look for tells or invalidation points. So what's the safest thing to do right now? Safest thing to do right now is, is to wait because we need clarification here. So if you're not in the market, it's really, really tough to make a call in here because right now it's all it looks like. So if you're a bull, not a great time to be a buyer because you've got a textbook fourth wave going in. You know, I mean, A, B, you know, there's likely there's even one more push up here. So if I go down, if I take this, let's go to the 30 minute. You can even see within this fourth wave, it looks like we've got a one, two, three, four, five. So the fourth looks like that has more to go. So you can kind of see it within within this count. There's there's the one, two, three, little four coming up for a five. Do you see it? So if that's my third, there's my A, my B, and then I'm coming up to complete my C here in five, right? So we're we're coming up to threaten and challenge that that wave one low. From an Elliott perspective, that's an important pivot for us. Are we going? Are we, are we going into? Does this become diagonal, or do we stay impulsive? Now, if this has one more little push up here, it'll be very interesting to see. Note the 50. Fit well. Let's see. We'd be coming back this way. So, as I just measured it, I'm playing this as the two. Pardon me. I'm playing this as the two. So we we know this is right on top of the 618. So there's the low. All right, so see, see, so it sets us up perfectly here as a potential four. Now, do we overlap? Well, we'll we'll, we'll wait and see. But that sets up the move lower. That's our best case. Our best case is we come down here. So now we get a, this little confluence down here. Do you see it setting up here? So here's what we get. This is for bulls. This is our algo target sitting right at our seven eight six. That's your last stand for that to play as a second wave on the larger degree. Last last stand for that. Then we, then we can play it as an A, B. We've got a good clean five wave coming down here into a C wave to establish a potential pivot low. So we pull it all the way back out. Does that play? Well, let's go back to this one hour. That's what it looks like. You know, for bulls, that's your best case. That's the best case that I can see there. That's the 618. That puts us back up. Now we're back up to challenge the, 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 challenge the highs. So the critical level here, that's 7277. Critical level. Do we hold that and start to get some juice and start to move off of it? So put this over here. I mean, it's, it's a crapshoot right now. But either one plays validly. So the, all, all, the only thing we can do is just look for the telltale signs. Invalidation points, reduction of probability points. If this starts to move beyond the 618, we, start to, we may have to rethink this. Is there, a, a, is there potential here that we've got this completed? It certainly doesn't look complete to me. So this will be very interesting to see the reaction here where all bets are off and we've got to rethink everything is if we break this, this 618, if this starts to do that. Now we got to rethink the whole thing. But right now, I think that's lower probability given the count that we're looking at. That's lower probability to me. This would be 
you know, much as I don't like to see the price hitting down, at least we can wrap our heads around it and know we've got a contender down here for a good technical pivot to finish this thing with a deep second and then start moving back up again. So very difficult trading in Bitcoin right now. It's just, there is no easy answer. I wish I could give you the slam dunk, lay down, buy it here, sell it here. It's just not there. We've got to see what happens here. This will be the, the critical juncture here. This, do we pivot here? Do we keep going? And if we're heading down, do we come down in five? All right, guys, I know I ran long there, but I had to look at both cases. So I'll wrap it there and we shall see uh, over the weekend. Watch it.